Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in the previous video we created the calculate measure that we're now looking at on the screen and you can see it gave us the total revenue for all tasks that had a priority of high. However this works of course if you only have one of those priorities you wish to summarize by but let's say you had two or more and you wanted to actually get the total revenue for all tasks if they had a, uh, a priority of high or medium. So we already know what high is, we can see it's 11,100, and we could change this to get medium. So we go enter, and you'll see our number here at the moment, we'll say, once it updates, ah, 9,000, just short of 9,500. So we're probably looking around in the rounds of about 20,000 in revenue. Your first guess might be, well, we could just take this calculate function and then add this to another calculate function, which is filtered to high, which would work. But of course, that one gets a bit messy. And why do something long winded if you don't have to? If we go into our filter section here for task priority and we'll just go after medium here and let's just do a space. You can see if we start typing, we're just going to get this uh, arid red line. So even if I start typing uh, priority, you can see it's been underlined with this red squiggly line, indicating there's an error with our formula, which of course there is. However, if we just remove that and we hold down our shift button and to do two vertical lines and then do a space just for tidiness, let's now type into here priority. And you can see it's now letting us, or now going to let us select another field. So let's go tasks priority again. And this time do equals and write the word high in quotations. So what this is now doing in our filter criteria is it's saying do the sum of revenue where the task priority is equal to medium or, so these double uh, vertical lines represent the word or, where priority is medium or task priority is equal to high. Once that's done, we can just go to the end of the formula, hit enter, and hopefully we should see that number we talked about earlier. And you can see we've now got a priority, uh, not a priority, a total revenue of 20,573. And once again, we can do a simple test of that by going to our priority select, deselect and low. So we've got high and medium both selected. And we can see that our result from our calculation of 2,500 matches our total that we've got on our table below here. And the reason we're doing this as a comparison is because this is our table of everything which was obviously filtered to our two desired priorities just so that we can uh, validate our result. So let's bring low back in there. So we've got everything and we can now see we've got our overall total here, 29,900 and our filtered uh, measure result here, giving us the total for high or medium. And of course, this is no longer high priority. This is high or medium priority. Always got a member to make sure we update our measures when we do stuff like this. Uh, so we can now see how to do this. And of course, if you had more than just the two scenarios, you could, of course, and again, this is probably not a very good scenario because why would you want all three when you could do them in a lot simpler than this? But we could now go in here, priority equals low as a very long winded way of getting a total. And we can now see that our measure here of high or medium currently 29,902 is now going to match our total. So you can obviously add uh, more or statements uh, or as required in your calculation. So I hope you enjoyed that video. This one is probably going to be one of our shortest ones just because I wanted it to extend on the last video, uh, but, but without making it more complicated than it need to be. However, as always, if you've got any questions, please just drop a comment below this video and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And lastly, also in the description of this video, you will find links to the playlist for our dedicated Power BI course and other downloadable resources that you can find again in the link uh, in the description of this video. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.